Hi everybody, this is Ron. Before I get started on this lesson this week, I want Kirsten to come around here <laughs> and I want you guys to take a look at what we allow them to wear at work around here. This is Halloween and this is Kirsten. This is not our normal garb we wear here all of the time. So, it should be. Uh, yeah, right. Get behind the camera. Yes, sir. Okay, this lesson is about how to clear up a lot of questions we're getting from folks who just really don't understand the seller financing stuff. Now, I'm, this is a really basic lesson, so if you get this seller financing stuff, you might want to take a nap here on this one because this is going to be old school to you. If, however, you're like Kirsten and you don't have a clue what I'm talking about, then pay very attention and I'm going to try to clear up the, 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 the plan here and how we make money on one little type of deal that we do with seller financing, which is a free and clear house which is my favorite by the way, but of course we're not going to scratch the surface of it during this lesson, but I do want to get some basics across to you and um, I think maybe I can explain this in a way that anybody can understand it. I hope, anyway, I'm going to try. Alright, Kirsten, if you'll zoom in on this board, let's, we got, we got a buy side and a sell side here. So let's say this is a free and clear house. By the way, if you want to uh, screenshot this, you might want to save this so you can study it after the lesson. I can post it. Uh, well, they can screenshot it. All they got to do is, it depends on how they're watching, save the screen. All right. So let's say the house is free and clear. All right. Seller calls you, or you call the seller on an ad they're running for sale by owner ad, and you fill out the property information sheet. On the right side of the property information sheet, it asks the seller, Will you take your equity in monthly installments? And the answer comes back, Yes. All right. Now you get on the telephone and you call the seller since you know that they will sell or finance and you work out the terms by following my scripts that are in the manual. You find out that this $200,000 house, R, meaning after repaired value, now this house needs no repairs. This is a beautiful home in a beautiful neighborhood. So it would appraise right now for about $200,000. It's excellent condition. Uh, these kind of deals that I'm discussing here right now, by and large, they have nothing to do with foreclosures or repairs or any of that costly entanglement stuff. I'm going to show you how we get in, we get out, we make a bunch of money, and we get money every month for a long time to come on this one deal. I can, I can have this deal done in and out before I can even, even get a repair estimate on a rehab job. So it's free and clear house. The sell, and we know it's worth 200 and the seller agrees to sell it to us with owner financing for $180,000. So the seller owes nothing on the house. The seller says, I'll sell it to you for $180,000 price, and we agree on him getting $10,000 as a down payment. So I'm going to give him $10,000 and owe him $170 of his $180 price. And where the seller financing comes in, that he's going to take back a first mortgage in a mortgage state, or a deed of trust in a deed of trust state, or perhaps another device like a land contract. Forget about the agreement for right now because you will never write up that agreement. You do not need to worry about what agreement. You need to worry about the concept. It's your job to get the uh, basics into a purchase and sale agreement, which is pretty simple to do once you have a meeting of the minds. The attorney does all the rest. In Florida, I'm a mortgage state, so I would give the seller back a $170,000 mortgage secured by their property. They would, they, I, they would deed me their property and I would give them back a $170,000 lien against their property that says I owe them one seventy dollars at $1,000 a month till whatever, whatever term that comes out to uh, when it's paid off. Now in my case, I would structure it so that there's no interest, but whether I give them interest or I don't give them interest is a subject for another lesson. Right now, the key is they're going to get a $1,000 a month payment on a $170,000 debt. If it were uh, principal only, obviously it would pay off in 170 months because all of it goes toward principal, which is the way I'm going to teach you how to structure these things, and you'll get that 90% of the time you can get no interest loans by simply asking and learning how to do so. Now, I put it under contract to buy it for, two, for 180 with 10 down, 170 mortgage back to the seller, meaning they're going to receive a payment, the attorney's going to close it, and then they're going to collect $1,000 a month until they're paid off. Again, they'll get a first mortgage, uh, the note, all recorded downtown, and 
we'll have to get a fire, a fire, a fire, a fire insurance policy and name them as the mortgagee and let the attorney close it. So now I own the house. Whether I've sold it yet or not, I own the house. The house belongs to me. The, the seller has exchanged real property for personal property in the form of a note and mortgage paying them a monthly payment. Now, I decide I want to sell the house with owner financing in this case. I put it on the market with no bank qualifying owner financing. And of course, they will come in droves. And if you don't believe it, just stick a nice house in a nice neighborhood on the market and put uh, no bank qualifying owner financing and see what happens to your telephone. I promise you, you're not going to be able to handle the calls because 80 some percent of the people out there can't qualify for a loan. But hey, if there's owner financing and no banks involved, they can all qualify if they got enough down payment to satisfy me. So in my example, I'm offering it to the public for 210 which as far as I'm concerned is its new market value. If it's worth 200 with an appraisal, I promise you, uh, if I put it on the market with owner financing and make it easy to buy, it is worth more than if, it, than if I were going to cash out of it and get it appraised and go through bank financing. I could probably get a, even much more than 210 For the sake of this example though, I'm going to put it on the market, except 210 is the sales price, $25,000 is the minimum I'm going to take down from my buyer who, who I'm the only committee. If the buyer could convince me that they got enough money to satisfy me and that I believe they can make the monthly payment to me, then I am the committee. Uh, you know, your loan is approved. It only take a matter of uh, minutes, not months and months and months. So they don't have, no banks involved here. No banks. There's no bank loans. I buy it with owner financing, no bank loans. We close on it in a few days. Whenever the seller's ready, I own it. I put it back on the market. I offer it with no bank loans. Here they come. Uh, I take $25,000 down, which means if I sell it for $210, they owe me $185. So I write a contract up that says I'll sell it to you for $210. You'll give me $25 down to closing, and you'll owe me $185 at $1,500 a month. So you always want to make sure that the incoming payment coming in is larger than your outgoing payment going out. So from that point on, I'll start collecting payments of $1,500 a month, of which I will pay $1,000 a month out every single month, and the rest belongs to me on a house I don't own anymore because I've sold the house with owner financing. Taxes and insurance and maintenance and all responsibilities of ownership now belongs to my new buyer. It's their house, not my house. I'm just collecting money on leveraging my brain, not even my wallet. Remember, I bought the house with 10 down. I got 25 from my buyer. My guess is we are probably going to close these things on the same day if I don't want to come out of pocket with the 10 grand. So I'll bring the buyer in with the 25 and let the attorney close the purchase to me and then the sale to my buyer. At the same time, take their money, fund the 10, cut me a check for $15,000 difference. That's the, really the smart way to do it. And now, look what I've created. I, uh, by the way, when I sell it for $1,500 a month, I'm going to charge an interest. I don't sell like I buy. If I buy with no interest, I'm not going to sell with no interest. I'm going to collect interest. That's a normal thing to do. So I'm going to put, let's put 6% on here. I don't know how many years that works out to. It doesn't really matter because long before they're going to get paid off like this, they're going to go refinance it at the bank, most likely, and get their payment down anyway. And if I want to make sure of that, I just stick a five-year balloon in here. That means in five years, they have to have me paid off by the, by the end of that five-year term. So. I've collected, what I've done, I've created a $15,000 immediate cash flow in a few days, $500 a month for however many years this thing goes on before this person refinances the property and pays it all off. And then of course on the back end, they owe me $185, I owe out a lot less than $170. Because you see my friends, if I'm collecting principal and interest here in this $1,500, they're paying down their balance very, very little every single month. If I'm not paying interest over here, I'm paying down my balance $1,000 a month. So literally, if it took them, say, three years to pay me off over here, I've paid down $36,000 on this $170,000 loan here. So now my gap between the $185 and what they owe me and the $125 or $30 that I owe out I'm going to get another thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar check on the back end of this deal. So by leveraging my brain, structuring this deal going in, 
making it real easy for buyers going out, I've created cash now, cash monthly, and cash later. And if this person does crap out on me along the way, no problem. Take the house back and go sell it again and collect another $25,000 down. So it's actually literally a modern day money machine. So I hope that was simple enough for you to understand it. So if you really want to get into this seller financing stuff, you've got to come join me. In December 12th, 13th, and 14th in Jacksonville, Florida, I'm going to be doing a one-time only three-day event on this subject. And by the way, this is just scratching the surface. This is just one little kind of seller financing deal. But I will show you how to do these deals. I'll show you how to approach free and clear houses. I'll target them, structure the offers, structure the uh, negotiate the discounts on the back end, fight the buyers, uh, get the most money out of the buyers, get zero interest loans, all of these things. I'll also show you how to do this when there are loans on the property and when there aren't loans on the property and I tell you you're going to learn some things at this event that's not taught anywhere else on earth. There aren't very many people alive qualified to teach you this stuff. So and this is just a real basic example. So if you will trust me, believe me when I tell you, what you're going to get in that three-day event will change the way you do business, will make you a lot of money over the next few years in opportunity that you did not see anywhere else. Plus, you should know that the laws concerning seller financing are changing in January, and you must know what you have to do to change with them. You do not want to do this in January without getting updated on the law and making sure that an attorney closing this is also updated on the laws. I'm going to have an attorney there. He's going to have a written report on what we got to do to change it, both in seller financing, but also with private lenders, because that's changing as well, and also the new uh, Jobs Act, where you can go openly solicit for private money. All of those things are getting addressed at this three-day event, so make sure you're there. You can, uh, get, it's not going to be very expensive if you get in. If you're a Gold Club member, you're already entitled to a $500 discount. There's several other discounts available to you if you apply, so go look at the order form and get signed up for this thing before we fill up. By the way, make sure you hang around for the 15th, December the 15th, because on that day, we're going to have an all-day seminar on vacation rentals. And my friend, that is going to light you up when you see how my students have taken houses that they lease option from sellers, or they can buy them with owner financing, lease option them, and turn them into weekly vacation rentals. Take a, uh, a house that, would, uh, that you would normally get twelve, fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars a month out of it, and they'll show you how to get six or seven thousand dollars a month out of it by week learning it out on a weekly vacation rentals, hands off, without leaving your city, and you'll learn how to do these all over the country. So it makes no difference where you live. Uh, this couple that would be teaching this thing all day has houses in several different states, and you'll see how they got started and why. So uh, you do not want to miss that uh, vacation rental day on the fifteenth. So. Just consider this a 12th through the 15th class and go get the information on it and get signed up on it. You get one shot at this and that's it. Then you're going to hate yourself if you don't, uh, if you don't if you're not there. So I'll see you soon.